This video is sponsored by Scene. So today I'm gonna to be hanging out at my favorite venue in Raleigh, which is the Heights House. It's an old building that's been converted into a hotel and it's absolutely beautiful. Today I'm gonna to be doing a couple portrait shoot and they're gonna be dressing up for their anniversary and it should be an amazing shoot. I'm gonna be using the GFX 102 and also my X-T5, which is probably my favorite, favorite combination going forward and what I'll be using mainly in 2024. For the GFX, I'm gonna be using the 55 F 1.7 and the 80 F 1.7. I'll be shooting it in 35 mil mode. This way I don't have to crop my photos between the X-T5 and the GFX. Also, it gives those said lenses a little bit of extra reach. So instead of the 55 feeling more like a 35, it actually feels closer to a 50 mil full frame equivalent. And on my X-T5, I'll have the 16 mil F 1.4 and the 23 f1.4. There's not a lot of space in the venue, so having that 16 mil is gonna be extremely important. It's gonna give me the room I need to shoot my couple, but also capture the area and the beauty of the hotel. So let's go ahead and get into the session. Come over to your left a bit. And to your turn over this way so your back is facing into him, son. You can hold her, y'all look absolutely amazing. Go ahead and hold her around. Yes. Y'all look at each other. Beautiful. So I'd like to start my sessions out nice and easy. This is a great way for me and also the couple to warm up to each other, which is why I generally make most of my sessions longer on the two to three hour range. Keep your hands where they are. The last thing you wanna do is have a one hour session where when finally the couple starts warming up and having fun, you're basically done. So definitely consider having a longer session for your engagements and portraits. Bring your foreheads together. Foreheads. Yeah, one nice picture looking at me. And then y'all look at each other. Y'all go ahead and sit on the couches like on opposite couches. So I'm a big fan of action shots and telling a story through your shots. Keep in mind you wanna shoot wide to establish the story and then tight shots to get the feeling of the story together. You see here, I have my couple kind of playing chess and I direct them in a way that will help for the mood of the photos, starting out wide and then switching to some tighter shots of them making moves and holding their hands together. OB, go ahead and make a move. Tia, try to make a move and Obi like hold her hand while she's trying to move it. Y'all hold that. Hang out in this uh, corner here. Okay. Now, one thing I did find out the hard way in this session, which luckily didn't show up too much in the photos, is that the Fujifilm 16 f1.4 does not fully resolve the 40 megapixels of the X-T5. Now currently that was my widest lens and I have gone back to the 16 f2.8, but I was shooting with the 1.4 in this session and I did get a couple of shots that either were not in focus or had a bunch of chromatic aberration. So if you have an X-T5, make sure you're not shooting with the 16 f1.4. It doesn't work for the 40 megapixels. Y'all look at each other.
stay like that. OB, come put your back on this uh, wall here. Well, on the side one. Yep, and then T, you're gonna be chest to chest. Four heads together. Yeah, both y'all look at me to start. Beautiful. Tia, this is a close-up on you. Let's um let's go hang out by these stairs. So you might be wondering why I've been wearing suits to almost all my sessions and weddings and thinking to yourself, man, yo, that's probably mad uncomfortable, but it isn't at all with this video sponsor, Scene. I've been wearing scene suits for the past three years now, and hands down, they are some of the most comfortable suits I've ever worn. First off, it's a sizeless suit. This means no matter what your body type is, you're able to get a great fitting suit. Just hop on their website and take their fit quiz, answer a couple of questions, and you have a great fitting suit. It's also easy to choose between a modern fit or a classic fit, a slim fit, or something tailored. They also have great color choices as well, so you get the exact look you want. On top of that, the Flex Tech fabric is honestly some of the most comfortable I have ever worn, and it makes me wanna wear the suit almost every day, like really. I go to Starbucks wearing a suit <laughs> for literally no reason. This is the suit I wear when I'm speaking, if you see me at WPPI or imaging. This is the suit I'm wearing at weddings, and it's not that hot, so I can wear it in the summer. And in the winter and the colder months, I can add a hoodie to it, which they also make. I absolutely love all their products and highly recommend them, especially to wedding photographers. Stop showing up to your weddings, wearing things that don't match your guests. One of the best things you can do to get better clients is actually start looking the part. Make sure to check out the link in the description below for 10% off of your order. And really, if you're a wedding photographer or just want to look better day to day, scene is the way to do it. Anything you can do to create leading lines in your shots help out so much. You can see here I'm using the stairs on the right and also the doorway that they're standing in to create leading lines. I'm gonna adjust your dress real quick. Y'all keep hanging out how you are. And no matter how much time you're spending letting your couple fill in the gaps of their pose by having fun together, make sure you don't miss out on the details. Throw a kiss in there. Let's... How, how difficult is that veil to deal with for you? Okay, let's go ahead and hit those shots real quick. So I loved how y'all were holding your hands. OB, just take one step back. And Tia, you stay where you are, just a little bit, yeah. Just so I can see those hands a little bit better. That's perfect. Y'all face me head on. Y'all look at each other. Y'all hold each other chest to chest. Be careful with those stairs. Yeah, beautiful. Come down the stairs. Um, we're gonna do this veil shot. And you can just walk while you're coming down the stairs. I usually take pictures while y'all are doing stuff. I like motion. Look at each other a little bit while you're walking. Stop there, because we don't want too much sun. Back up a bit. Um, Marissa, come help me with this. How sturdy is that in there? It's pretty good? It's pretty okay. good. So first we're gonna do the way I normally do it, um, which is kind of like making it look like the wind. So y'all are still going to hold each other chest to chest. Come back, Obi, and then get y'all centered up right there. And Tia, you come close to him. And then Marissa, if you could, and you can, oh yeah, that's perfect. 
take this bit and the biggest thing is we want your bit to look like wind is pulling it and then I'm gonna take this and it's gonna swing back around. So yeah, even kind of like that, like almost the wind was catching it. No, but take, take this if you can. Bring this up some. Yeah. And then let's take one step closer to them. Yeah. Hopefully the wind will actually, there's enough. Bring your side up higher. Yeah. There we go. Y'all go ahead and throw a kiss in there. And then some nice smiles and yes, foreheads together. Hold that real quick. I'm gonna take it wider. And then the one you had pictured, I think they had the veil like actually over you. Yep. Yep. Bring. It's mainly yeah. That outside part is fine. It's mainly this inside one. Yeah. Yeah, not too high though. I want my side to come up. So you come down some. Do that one more time. Marissa, bring um, all your stuff in closer so that the back of her veil is closer to her body, just a tad. Yeah. Beautiful. And then now let's take this over. Now I'm gonna bring this over your head. And yeah, Marissa, you might have to hold the other side. Yeah. Grab this and help me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you check out my video where I talk about veil shots so you can see the final results. Take this and that video together and you can get yourself amazing veil shots. Okay, so Marissa, you can drop your side. And then just hold the, the back end over on this end so I can control it a little bit better. Like right here. Yeah, and you can let it fall. It's just more so I don't want it to like be all up in their faces. Okay, that makes sense. But you need it to still feel like they're in there. Oh, maybe I maybe I will need you in the back. Because yeah, it's like falling in between them a bit. Yeah, because the biggest thing is I need you back there, but on the same end, I don't want you back there because I can see you. Yeah. That's better. Y'all bring your foreheads together. Well, look around too. Okay. Bring your foreheads. There it is. Yeah, you need it not in between, basically. Because then it will block your faces, and then I'll have to kind of be in there with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Beautiful. actually get wind okay hold on Marissa come over to my side you let all that go you see where my right hand hold this yeah bring it down kiss <laughs> the wind is actually super helpful bring your side down a bit marissa y'all stay like that i just want to kind of let go Awesome. Yeah, y'all have a lot of options, so. Thank you. Thank you so much. Always make sure that you're not just shooting for yourself. My couple really wanted some nice veil shots, 
so I overshot this section to make sure I had a lot of options for them. Again, at the end of the day, as a wedding photographer, serving your clients comes first and foremost. This is a customer service job, so you wanna put everything into the customer service of your couples. Keep your hands how they are again. Y'all look at each other. Do that one more time for me, that was perfect. Beautiful. Awesome, y'all, that's perfect, that's it. So good. And we got them veil shots in there. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about the veil shot. If you enjoyed this video, check out more of my behind the scenes weddings and sessions by clicking on this playlist.